Okay, hi and welcome to your last maths lesson of the week. We are going to continue with multiplying fractions. This time we are going to look at how we multiply a whole number by a mixed number. Okay, so we are just moving on, adding an extra step to what we already learned yesterday. Uh, no arithmetic today because you only do four arithmetics per week. So moving straight on to the star words. As always, pause here. And if there's anything you're not sure of, you can either look it up, you can discuss it with the person with you, or of course, you can wait to think, oh, I'm not sure what the word denominator means. So I'm going to really listen out for that in this video. OK, what we are going to do now is work out how to multiply a mixed number. Now, this uh, is quite simple if we just follow the step by step instructions and we uh, work out just how to add on to what we learned yesterday. OK, let's have a look at a problem together. A bottle holds one and a quarter litres of water. How much water will there be in the bottles? OK, so. Let's start by working out what the question's asking us. OK, I've got three bottles, three lots, and each of them holds one and a quarter litres. So I've got three lots of one and a quarter, one and a quarter there, one and a quarter, one and a quarter. So I've got three lots of one and a quarter. So how do I work it out? Well, the first thing I have to do is multiply but by the whole number first. So what is three times one? It's three. Then I'm going to do three times a quarter. Building on from your knowledge yesterday, uh, you will have been able to identify that the answer to that is three quarters. And just a reminder, the denominator stays the same when I'm multiplying a whole number by a fraction. And then I just multiply the whole number by the numerator. Three times one is three. Always, always, always check the answer. Uh, check the question to see if it's asking you to answer as a mixed number or an improper fraction. OK, most of the time it's going to ask you. It's not going to ask you. So you can do it in whichever way you are confident with doing it with. But in the future, it may ask you, and that is just something for you to be aware of. OK, now let's uh, work out something a little bit different. OK, a high jumper uh, jumps one and three quarter metres. A pole vaulter jumps three times that height. How high did the pole vaulter go? Well, what I am doing is three. What I need to do is find out what three times one and three quarters is. So first thing I do is multiply the whole numbers by each other. Three multiplied by one is equal to three. Now I've sort of just it out that it's done. So now I'm doing three times three quarters. Well, when I'm multiplying fractions by a whole number, the denominator stays the same, and I do the whole number multiplied by the numerator, which is nine. Now, unfortunately, you cannot have an answer where the it is both a mixed number and an improper fraction like we have here. We can say it's a mixed number, so I've got a combination of whole numbers and a fraction. But I can also see that this is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So what I need to do in this case is convert it. The easiest thing is to convert it into an improper fraction. OK, so to convert it into an improper fraction, I know that I'm going to do a number of quarters is going to be my answer. I do the whole number times the uh, I do the whole number times the denominator, 3 times 4 is 12, and I add on the original numerator, and that is going to give me the answer 21 quarters. 
if you want to convert the other way, if you wanted to say, OK, well, I know that nine quarters is equal to two and a quarter. And I'm going to add them together to give me five and a quarter. OK, so either of those answers would be acceptable. Um, we just done that one. So let's uh, move on. Multiplying a mixed number then. Andy runs one and a fifth of a kilometre every day. What is the total distance he runs in four days? This is your talk task. There's just one. So what I would like you to do is pause the video now and work this out, please. OK, welcome back. Well, I uh, have identified I'm doing four multiplied by one and a fifth. OK, I start with the whole number part of it and I'm doing four multiplied by one, which is equal to four. So I've dealt with that bit now, so that bit's done. Now I'm doing four multiplied by a fifth. Well, I know that when I'm multiplying a whole number by a fraction, the denominator stays the same. Fifths that I'm dealing with. How many fifths? I've got four times one is four. So my answer is four and four fifths. Now, do I need to convert this into an improper fraction? No, I don't. Well done if you realise that. No, I don't need to do that. The reason I don't need to do that is because uh, this is already just a normal fraction, isn't it? So that's absolutely fine an answer as it is. OK, let's have a look then today at your independent task. What I've done is I've tried to keep it nice and simple and the questions build and build and build from each other. OK, so let's have a look at uh, the independent task. Your independent task today is just 10 questions, OK? Just the one challenge and just 10 questions. Now, the first set of the first few questions, um, one, two, three and four, all you need to do is multiply just like we've done already. And it's going to give you the answer straight away. From that point onwards, from question five onwards, the answer is going to uh, when you're, what you're going to have to do with your answer is you're going to have to convert it. So it's either an improper fraction or a mixed number. You will understand once you start moving with them, um, once you start getting along with them. So if you you should be able to do question one to four nice and simply following the steps given. Then remember what you need to do is uh, convert because you cannot have a combination of a mixed number and an improper fraction. OK, this last slide, the independent slide task is your step by step guide. I uh, hope that you have this open whilst you are working in a different tab on your independent task, if you're able to do that. And of course, referring back to the video as much as possible. Uh, so I hope that helps. Remember, question one, two, three and four are the nice and straightforward ones. And then question five onwards are the ones like this, where we then had to convert it onwards. OK, so over to you.